All right, I have a interesting part to show you guys here today. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of background on this first. Uh, believe it or not, this is the very first nest we ever did uh, that was uh, TPU based uh, for a customer. So this is for one of our automotive assembly customers. Um, we've been, uh, we got our MJF machines uh, back in 2018. So we immediately started doing a lot of nylon 12 nesting blocks and stuff like that. And pretty quickly people started asking us, hey, you know, I have a chrome part, I have a painted part. Um, can you print me nesting for that? And what we found was the nylon had the potential to scratch parts of the class A finish. So we said, well, let's look around and see what we can do. And uh, they had just started to bring TPU rubber out for the MJF machines. And so uh, we went out and uh, uh, designed this nest and went out to uh, um, another company, another 3D printing company that had this rubber in house. And uh, we had them print this insert. So basically the way this nest worked, um, it's a symmetrical nest. So it's for holding door handles. Basically you could put a left hand or a right hand uh, door handle in this, this TPU cup. And then you would set the, the plastic uh, uh, base that the door handle sits in that mounts into the door itself over top of it. And then you would drive pins and, and install counterweights. You know, this is a pin pick. Uh, location right here and there were eight of these nests on a big dial indicator table so we went out we had someone else print the TPU for us um, didn't turn out great uh, part was warped and and just didn't turn out well at all and so that was actually what pushed us to bring uh, TPU in-house uh, to do it ourselves because you know just like when we got into 3d printing you know we worked with other companies when we were just an engineering source and you know they just didn't know what we were trying to do and they just they never produced good parts so you know that's what initially got us to bring 3d printing in-house and that's what got us to bring mjf printing in-house and now on this job it's what made us bring this tpu material in because we just couldn't find anyone that could do it the way we wanted it so we figured hey if we're having this problem i bet you other people are too and that eventually led to us uh, today being one of the largest users of TPU material in North America. Um, you know, we use an absolute ton of it for nesting for class A parts for our customers. Um, so this is really cool. This, this nest actually, like I said, the first, the first nest we ever did for a customer that had a TPU insert in it. And so this is from around mid 2019 is when we delivered this nest and uh, we went on to, you know, we, now we print, you know, we print hundreds of pieces of nesting a month now for customers. Um, but this is where it all began. And this is, you know, this is completely our design for our customer. You know, some customers come to us with stuff designed, some customers uh, just want our engineering group to do it for them. So uh, we did it. And you can see this thing is beat on it is war you know we've got a bunch of wear over in the corners here you could see uh where the, the operator was loading parts this nest has three million cycles on it it has been loaded and unloaded three million times and that's why i uh when i heard that they were going to redo this machine um, I immediately asked the customer, I said, hey, is there any way we could get this nesting back? I know you guys are going to do a new round of nesting for the changing geometries of the door handle. Can we get one of the old ones? And they were happy to give it back to us. So, um, you know, one of the things I want to show, you know, a question that we get from time to time, you know, how wear resistant is this material, especially the TPU? The reason we did it this way, the reason we, we put an insert in there, and you can see there's actually heat sets in the bottom of that nest, these melt-in heat sets. We knew so little about this material back then, we, we didn't know if it was going to last a week, a month, a year, you know, forever. So we figured this would be replaceable. So if we wore out the TPU, we could very easily take it out and replace it. Or you know, if it started to get dirty and, and we couldn't, you know, the customer couldn't clean it consistently, it started scratching parts, we figured we'd rather replace an insert than have to replace the entire nest because we knew nylon 12 would hold up. We just didn't know anything about TPU. So this TPU here, like I said, it's, it's uh, January of 2024 right now. And this goes all the way back to uh, 
to basically uh, 2019, late 2019, early, yeah, it would have been late 2019. Um, and you can see, you know, it's, it's definitely war and it's definitely dirty, um, but <clears throat> it, uh, it really held up, you know, 3 million cycles it held up and, you know, it's still, you know, still stretchy, still rubber, you know, still plenty thick. It's not all worn away. You can see there's some areas where it's wore a little bit from when the operator was loading parts in and out of there, but overall held up beautifully. And, you know, same with, uh, with this guy, um, they actually, um, they actually had to modify the nests up here on a bridge port, um, about a year or two ago, there was a slight engineering change. They had to open this nest up. So, you know, you can see this material, this nylon material, and even the TPU materials is machinable. You know, if you've got to make edits to it, uh, you can chuck it up in a bridge port and go to town on it, cut it up. You know, this even has the honeycomb on the back side of it that we do to, you know, take mass out of these, uh, these parts. And uh, you can see, you know, they broke through into the honeycomb a little bit right there, but it didn't affect the structural integrity at all. It's still very strong and, you know, held up to probably another million cycles after they did that. You know, you can see they've they've had a ton of wear in this area right here. You know, it, it just chewed that area. This one, not as bad over here, but yeah. So I thought this was kind of a cool piece. You know, one of our original designed nests, one of our original nesting uh, projects that, you know, included a, the first piece of TPU we ever did for nesting. So kind of a cool piece. And, you know, it's always cool to be able to say, hey, you know, this has got 3 million cycles on it. and you know, the only reason they pulled it out of the machine was the, the part geometry was changing and they had to replace it. Otherwise, this would still be in there running uh, to this day. So kind of cool.